What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad garage where today we're going to continue working on our 2020 Tesla Model X and as you guys seen in the previous video we did a bunch of paint prepping. We knocked out all the bodywork then we started doing some wet sanding where we wet sanded this whole entire front end. Now all we really got left to wet sand is just the bottom of this hood right here. Then after that I think we're going to pop all these body panels off just to make sure we didn't miss any corners or edges. And I think we're still gonna stick to the original plan and we're just gonna take these body panels to a paint booth and just paint that stuff separately and leave the car here and paint the pillars some other day, dude. Yeah, what I think that would be the best option right there. Like we mentioned before, this is like a solid black color, yeah. so it should match up perfectly. Exactly, so once we knock out all the wet sanding, we still gotta spend a good bit of time collecting all of our supplies, all of our masking tape and a tarp and all that good stuff, some paint, some clear coat. And then we can actually go ahead and start heading towards a paint booth, which we got two options. We had an amazing opportunity this morning where a local college actually is allowing us to go and use their paint booth, which I think that'll be super awesome. So that's one of the options, or we could just go to the one that we normally go to, which is super close by. So it really just depends on how long it takes to prep all this stuff. And then we're gonna decide where we wanna go because the college is a little bit further down, but I think it might be just something cool to just experience, dude. dude. If not this car, it's definitely gonna be the next, Yeah, the dude. Camaro or maybe the Audi. So we're yes, gonna sir. go ahead and uh, figure that out a little bit later. But as for right now, I'll say we go ahead, pop off some of these body panels and knock out the rest of our wet sanding. Alrighty guys, so we just got done wet sanding all these body panels right here, the edges, the corners, and mainly the bottom of this hood right here. And what we did was just use some scuff it stuff, some paint prep gel and a scuff pad, and we just flew right through it. And as for the top of this hood, we had to apply some of that red putty because there was some little pinholes that the primer guy kind of makes. So we wanted to go ahead and take care of that. That way, once we do paint it, it doesn't pop up later on. So got that knocked out. All these body panels are ready to head towards the paint booth. And before we actually started wet sanding, we ran to the paint supply store to grab the scuff it stuff right here, which there it is right there. It's like a, basically like the Gojo that you clean your hands with and it just feels like sandy. So that's pretty cool how it works on those rough terrains on that stuff just flies by. And of course we grabbed our paint and a few other things, some masks. You got your scuba mask right here. This is a, cause a you full wear, face mask. Full right face here. mask because you wear contacts and it like burns. I, I don't know. I don't I wear think no The paint actually lands on the contacts and dries up, dude. That is wild right here. And of course, mainly we got our paint right here, which we already cracked it open just to check it out. This is called Jet Black. And look at that, dude. It is solid, man. Dude, so that is the most important thing, and that's why we're probably gonna be able to paint these parts off of the car, Yes, dude. sir, that's the main reason why we're able to do this, and we're just basically gonna take all these body panels and just hang them by metal wire, just spray the fronts to backs, and just get 360 degrees around it. Now, I was looking at something on this paint can, and look what it says right here. It says, high performance red. And look how many grams, there's like a lot 2, of- 2,000 grams, man. <laughs> how is that even possible, dude? You don't see any red, but somehow it's in the concoction, dude. Yeah, dude, it's crazy, dude. That is weird right there, but but you know what? I think that's to make the car faster. Anytime you it makes have... the paint more expensive too, dude. <laughs> that's true right there. But anyways, we got everything that we need. What we're gonna do is go ahead and pull up the F450 because I think it's got a lot more room. We're gonna try to place all these parts in there and probably start heading towards the paint booth.
Alrighty guys, so we made it out here to the paint booth, but before we came out here, of course we had to stop by the good old Chick-fil-A because the secret to a good paint job is... Food, man. A good meal, dude. <laughs> yes, That's sir. what I'm talking about. And you can't just have the course without the dessert right there, you dude. You gotta have dessert, especially Chick-fil-A, man. They put you on point. They make you get good paint jobs, dude. Dude, if you didn't eat before you came out here, dude, I'm telling you, your, your vision would have been blurry your and all that. blurry, you'd be like daydreaming and stuff like that while Sleep you're painting, talking. and you'd probably start painting designs and stuff. So you want to eat, you want to be, you want to have something in your stomach because paint jobs, especially if you're painting a whole car, can take like upwards to an hour or two, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but this one right here should be a pretty simple one, and we actually ended up coming to our buddy's paint shop. Yeah, because this is just down the road, and we're kind of behind schedule. It's already the afternoon, and we just want to have all these parts painted tonight. We're definitely going to use that paint booth here in the future, probably on the Audi or the Camaro. It's going to be epic. I'm sure they got a legit setup. Definitely. I'm, I'm pretty sure they might have a way newer setup because it is a technical school, so yeah. they, they train hopefully, their students Hopefully there. they can train us a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we might learn a thing or two but anyways got the fender set up right here super easy to paint those i mean that's just on a stand right here the bumper is probably going to be easy to paint as well because it's just like one flat piece but the hood is the most important because now we can paint this side and we can paint this side Hello. all at one go dude. dude that's what i'm talking about this sucker is practically levitating and this should be a pretty simple process for the most part we don't have too much panels here it'll probably take like what two hours to yeah, paint all this stuff two hours and we're probably going to seal the bumper and blend onto like the hood and the fenders and stuff like that because this did have kind of quite a bit of rock chips and i mean we're basically ready now and it's really hot though oh it's like a thousand degrees in here two thousand dude. dude i know it feels like it so we had to mix our paint per uh temperature of the outside so everything dries normally so hey I my, say, my brownie is melting dude, dude which you is even perfect have to heat it up you just put it out in the sun for two minutes and you're good to go dude <laughs> but anyways yeah we definitely got to shut this place down and what turn on the fans dude turn on the fans wax and grease remove everything and uh start spraying the stuff in The sun is not playing around today. Dude, you got that right, man. I'm just pouring sweat in this suit. Expe dude. Yeah, especially in the suits when you zip them up and you put your face mask on. It's like a sauna, dude. dude. It's like a sauna, but the suits are fire, man. The Luma 3 suits, man, these are legit comfortable. They keep you toasty. But, dude, if it wasn't for this fan right here, man, we would have been soaked right now because right now we are just cooling off with this thing, <laughs> You dude. turn it on and you put it into your suit and it turns you into the Michelin, man. Oh, yeah, <laughs> dude. I wish I had that thing strapped up to my back and, like, blowing inside my suit and just... Dude, that'd be the perfect invention, That dude. would be awesome right there. But you did pull something up on Amazon. 
Amazon. Let's just go Dude, ahead and look see at that, that sucker, man. One hundred seventy-two dollars for this, like I don't know. This is like some kind of cheap invention, but it looks cool, dude. Looks cool. We actually ended up paying like two hundred bucks for this, which this is nice. It has a little lens right there that you just peel off with that overspray gets on it, but it doesn't keep you cool. It doesn't keep you oxygenated. Yeah, it gets really hot in there. Although it protects your eyes, it gets super steamy in there, dude. Oh my goodness! Might just have to purchase that. And I think they actually have a whole entire suit with a mask that like pumps oxygen and air and dude, just keeps you cool. I'm sure they probably got some nice expensive ones for painters that you can wear dude we may have to invest in one of those hey, dude. eventually dude and in the winter time maybe get one that's heated dude, you knows? never know dude <laughs> but anyways dude we got these suckers we got one base coat on here after spraying our bay or our what's it called our sealer. sealer so we sealed the bumper we actually threw a little bit of sealer on the hood and fenders to blend it all in and that one coat of base actually covered well dude, dude. that jet black is looking really good i was surprised i thought like as soon as it was gonna dry it was gonna like dull Super out matte. it's just a different paint but it lays down really nice yeah dude. and it lays down and it stays glossy which i think it's gonna look super good with some clear coat which we're dude, almost ready for almost it dude. ready i think i'm just gonna do one more coat and then miss the last coat and dude we'll be ready for some clear Alrighty guys, so it is actually the next day here, dude. Let's just go ahead and take a look at this stuff, dude, man. This stuff looks amazing, honestly, it dude. Does. Just look at the fenders, dude. Ooh. Those suckers probably came out the best, dude. Dude, super slick. I don't even see like one piece of trash on there or there right there and that was them suits man dude, oh yeah having brand new suits makes a pretty big difference and dude. that that they actually send us a little cord thing the luma 3 did and uh, i mean if you guys didn't notice this it's just a magnetic thing for the cord that way it's not always laying on the ground and this actually helped probably a lot with trash as well yep. eliminate all that dust particle especially like with our old suits because they kind of lay around in the garage and they just collect dust and it just sticks to yeah, it yeah so. sticks so we're gonna make sure to actually like probably cover them up put them in a bag and tie them off that way we don't get too much much dust on it but dude the bumper over here this thing is pretty dang slick as well looks super good a few little bit bits of trash here and there but nothing too major it'll buff it'll buff but the hood dude turned out amazing dude look at that reflection it on does there, have man. a little i'm noticing a little bit of orange peeliness in it but you know what that's actually gonna make it stronger and i, <laughs> and I think it's just gonna buff clean out dude. oh yeah i mean i just did two coats on this stuff right here i don't know how exactly you can get rid of orange peel maybe it's a certain pressure that you put the gun on or I don't know. The certain, certain type of clear coat. Because we did use Nason clear coat on this right here. Yeah, I mean, Nason clear is not that bad, but this should be, I mean, this should, this, this should will do, out. you know? I heard like if you throw like a super thick uh, clear coat, it's more prone to chipping. Is that true? You know, uh, I mean? I'm sure it is. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll, we'll test this out, you know? Yeah. We did that uh, Bulldog, the, what is that? The adhesion promoter. Yeah, so that promoter? stuff actually helps a lot with promoter. chipping. <laughs> yeah, promotion promoter. Heck yeah, like so that. we got it all painted. Definitely going to, I think it's just going to buff out to a slick yeah. Perfect dude, finish. Super slick back here as well, man. That just looks good. That dude. is nice. And I think, uh, are we going to take this stuff back home and just slap it on the car? Or dude, what are you thinking, we dude? Can, we can test it out on the car and and, that, and then probably the car is going to be next, right? Yep, the pillars of the car. So, I mean, we are just moving our along. But we did end up bringing out both trucks, the F450 today and the Raptor as well, just to make sure that like everything is spaced out properly. Yeah, definitely. So, we don't want to damage anything. I'll probably take the bumper and the Raptor and the fenders and stuff like that. We'll probably put that in the f450 so i say we go ahead and load all this stuff in the trucks and head back to the house
on this car, man. Oh my goodness, and it looks like the orange peel actually like disappeared once we threw these body panels like flat. Look at that, dude, it's slick. Dude, that looks super Ooh. good. And look how good the paint matches with the original paint color right here, dude. That is a near perfect match. I know this is an older paint, so it's a little bit dull, but the brand new paint just looks on Hey, point, we'll dude. blend buff it, man. You just <laughs> go like that a couple times and dude, you're not gonna notice anything, dude, man. So that's pretty much it for the front end. Now we're probably gonna move on to the next major step is to get these pillars painted right here. So all we have to do is basically just sand these down. I'm probably gonna throw another coat of primer on this after I sand it one more time. That way we can make sure this is perfect. And also we did notice while I was wiping this door off to see if it'll match, I noticed a little chip right there. At first Ooh. I thought it was just a little bit of scuffs that we can buff off. So it looks Dang. like we'll probably go ahead and paint this have door. have to paint the yeah. whole entire door. So we'll just throw a little bit of paint right here. The rest will be clear coat, not a big deal. Dude. But let's go ahead and walk onto this side. That's why I think they call this paint the jet black because it's like a super deep black. Dude, that looks good. We do have some guys uh, chopping some wood across hey, the street. They, need, deal. they that, need to come chop this down right here. That's what I'm saying. Come over here and trim this up right <laughs> here. But anyways, dude, that jet black looks so good on this wow. car right here. I can't wait to like complete it with the headlights and that bumper and stuff like that. And also, we should probably paint this little chrome piece that goes right here black. Dude, I think that'll look good. Yes, dude. sir. I think that's the only piece that we're going to actually paint the rest of this chrome. I looked up on eBay and they sell like a chrome delete wrap kit. Dude, and that will be probably the easiest way because you don't want to sand this down and then primer and sand it again just to paint it. So we'll probably wrap all this stuff, maybe even do like a matte black. That would look Ooh, pretty good, dude. That would look really good. So. But definitely got to find some wheels as well. So we're going to have to probably find some sort of eBay edition wheels. That way they come in super quick because if you do custom wheels, it takes like up to months. Like two months. Yeah, it yeah. takes a really long time. So we'll just find some the best looking wheels that we can get uh, the fastest time because yep. This car is almost complete, but anyways, let's go ahead, pop this fender back off, sand the, both of these pillars, and uh, get this thing ready for some more paint. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. We just knocked out both of these pillars right here and they are officially ready for some paint. Of course, we added a little bit more primer, did a little bit more minor body work, but for the most part, we are ready to move on to the very next thing, which is actually gonna be this door right here. We gotta completely take it apart, gut that sucker, get it completely sanded and ready for paint as well. But that's all gonna be in the next one, which we're super excited about that because as soon as all the paint work is knocked out, we can start reassembling everything, especially in this front area right here. It's gonna be super epic, and then we can start getting to the mods and all that good stuff. But definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.